what happens one day when you just wake up and you're just like fuck it i'm turning my mom's little hatchback into a, a proper race car well this is the result of that this is a honda brio and it has been swapped with a 2021 honda city's iv tech 1.5 liter four cylinder naturally aspirated engine and i'm going to tell you all about this bonkers build today So a little bit of story time before I get into the meat and potatoes which is the engine swap but this car is actually more than just an engine swap this is a proper thorough autocross build like this thing is specifically made to attack corners at an autocross event and funnily enough this thing is actually very very successful in that now if you remember we've posted some videos from GT tuners and those guys actually have a stage 3 Audi TT with like I think so more than 400 horsepower with all wheel drive a very fancy gearbox and all of that stuff this thing is just a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated car with a manual gearbox some suspension mods here and there and all of that stuff and this thing is actually only 2 seconds slower than an Audi TT with more than 400 horsepower i'm guessing on an autocross circuit and that is absolutely insane and that's of course down to two things of course the car and its build and the driver which is k24 karan on instagram his uh, all of his links for social media are down in the description below so this thing actually started out as an autocross build it didn't have the engine or anything like that and slowly slowly karan started to build up the car with an uh, 1.5 liter engine from a honda jazz and actually the jazz that he took it from is his own jazz and that jazz now has a k24 engine from a honda accord and after the jazz engine he switched to the 1.5 liter iv tic engine which you get in the 2021 honda city now the advantage that that engine has over the old jazz engine is that it's a twin cam engine with much better internals here and there it basically is more reliable produces more power and you know has a little bit more potential than the other 1.5s that have been put into this car and of course it has suspension mods brake mods wheels tires and everything like that more to explain about that in just a minute but yeah this thing is absolutely bonkers in that sense and i absolutely love the color scheme also that karan has done on his car purple on the outside and all of the interior bits like the roll cage the engine bay and everything is finished in this really cool looking magenta pinkish type of color so yeah it looks great i'm pretty sure it will sound great because honda engines always sound the part and yeah i'm pretty sure once i attack a corner in this thing it's going to really surprise me So coming to the current iteration of the car like I said it's running a 1.5 liter iv tech engine from a Honda City from 2021 and this is basically it and yeah this looks pretty insane because it's a massive engine in such a tiny car and tiny because this thing weighs basically nothing so according to karan he hasn't actually officially weighed it but in the current uh, state of the car which is fiberglass body panels most of the car is made out of fiberglass like the hood all three doors except the driver's door the rear hatch and even the rear windows are not made out of glass they're made out of plexiglass and yeah considering all of that weight reduction and of course the interior is completely stripped out this thing should weigh around 840 kilos and considering that this thing makes 137 hp and this has been confirmed on the dyno which is at gt tuners yeah this thing has an amazing power to weight ra uh, ratio now this thing isn't running on a stock ecu it's running on an ecu master standalone ecu because well karan wants to extract each and every ounce of performance from this engine and currently it's not even at its maximum limit karan is still trying to look at a bunch of other mods that can be done like changing the intake manifold because the intake manifold in this car currently is stock so after you change it put in like a performance intake manifold you'll up the power even more currently the car has a fully custom stainless steel uh, exhaust system including the headers uh, and it has a bmc uh, air intake so so like i said now it makes approximately 137 hp uh 
Now, how did they do the engine swap? Well, it was actually not as difficult as I thought it would be. They just had to basically tweak the current uh, engine mount that the Brio comes with. Uh, and the, if you know, the Brio comes with a 1.2 liter VVT engine. So they had to tweak those engine mounts just by a little bit. And yeah, more or less, the car was kind of like a direct swap. Of course, you know, like the calculations and how to do it and all is probably very complicated, but it's pretty straightforward as to what I've spoken with Karan and Sportech uh, regarding this build. So let's shut the hood and let's talk about the other mods on this car, which include the suspension brakes and all of that other stuff. So yes, probably the engine swap is the big talking point about this build, but the suspension, the brakes and all of that other stuff is actually what makes the car into such an autocross animal. Now, coming to the brakes, these brakes are actually from an Integra Type R. Absolutely gigantic for this size of car and considering that it's around 840 kgs without the driver, these massive brakes must be helping the car stop on a, on a dime. And considering that they're drilled and slotted if I'm not wrong, yeah, super good for ventilation for the brakes. Apart from that, this thing has been fitted with the M Factory Final Drive, M Factory uh, LSD, so you know, like the distribution of power is proper and it doesn't, you know, always understeer into every sort of corner and grips when you're actually on throttle in a corner. And it also has a F-tuned GT Series track spec coilover uh, suspension system, which I'm pretty sure has tons of adjustments and will be super duper stiff, especially when I'm driving this thing on some private roads kind of thing. Once you get into the interior, well, yeah, you're completely surrounded by this roll cage which is finished in a Porsche color called Ruby Stone Metallic. And yeah, this color combo, like I said, looks absolutely amazing. Apart from that, you have this Beltenic uh, racing bucket seat which holds you into place. Uh, you have an OMP six-point racing harness. You have a Momo Prototipo steering wheel and you have no interior. Yeah. Literally each and every part of this interior has been picked up and thrown because this car is basically all about weight shedding and like I said 840 kilos with 137 horsepower that is going to be mad. The infotainment system has been deleted and now you have a kill switch instead of that. Uh, you have no headliner, you have no passenger seat, even the doors are not original now. This is the only metal door like I said. All of the other doors are now made out of plexiglass and uh, out of fiberglass. So that is also a massive weight shedding uh, technique. And apart from that, yeah, just to be safe, you know, if anything goes south, you have a fire extinguisher as well. Apart from that, it's not a Brio in any sort of sense inside, apart from this uh, instrument cluster that you have in front of you. So yeah, I think so. It's now time to start up the car, give it a couple of revs and then take it out for a quick little spin. So finally have my racing harness strapped onto me and now it's time to send it. What the hell? And 
in just like 200 meters i have this big wide smile on my face this thing is so much fun who ah oh. it just darts into a corner like nothing else i've driven it's like a go kart and in little sense it feels like a go kart and everything is just so sensitive the throttle the brake it doesn't even have abs at the moment and a bunch of cows have taken over the road but that's okay I mean this is a proper race car. Karan and Sportech have taken a normal mom hatchback and made it into something super special. I mean this thing is just wild. Absolutely wild. Ah. Oh. And the brakes oh my oh my god. I mean anywhere near the brake pedal and it just immediately grabs and yeah you are breaking like nothing else ooh and the stone chips you can hear stone chips because this thing has no interior so you can just hear stuff banging off of the metal wow and it's hot inside this thing no ac of course all in the name of weight reduction Once you start shifting gears, this thing moves. It might seem like I'm in misery, but I'm actually not. I'm having the best time of my life in this thing. This thing is just insane to drive. I've never driven anything like this. and these semi slick tires like karan said they don't need any time to heat up so i have pretty much quite a lot of grip at the moment of course these roads are a little dusty so i'm not pushing the car at all because i don't want to spin off and crash this beautiful thing but yeah i can see how this thing is only 2 seconds off of a stage 3 audi tt in an also autocross event this thing is absolutely bonkers The pedals are also in the perfect place for heel and toeing. Yeah, this thing is a dream to drive, and Karan has achieved some really, really cool stats with this thing. Yeah, would I recommend this to anyone who wants to do up their Brio? Of course not, because this thing is super extreme. I mean, fully stripped out interior, you can't daily this thing at all. I mean, you'll immediately be pulled over by the cops. And don't worry, I'm driving this thing currently in Mexico, so we don't have to worry about the cops over here. But yeah, this thing is a little bit of a task to drive. Ah, <laughs> uh, power steering kind of works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> crisp downshifts are so crisp and yeah honda are known for their handling and this thing handles absolutely amazing Woo! so it has been an absolute pleasure to drive this thing a big shout out to karan the owner of this car for letting us drive this thing i mean yeah it's been a pleasure driving this thing hats off to you because yeah he's done some really amazing builds and i do suggest that you give him a follow if you love your hondas because he has some really really cool honda builds like this 1.5 liter swap uh brio and he also has a k24 swap honda jazz and a big shout out to sportech as well for letting us film this video inside their garage and those are the guys who have basically built this car so hats off to those guys as well do give them also a follow on their instagram and i'll catch you in the next one
Bye bye. Thank you.